Hi, my name is Vincent Copeland. I'm a Des Moines County Master Gardener for eight years and today I will be showing you how to clean and sharpen some of your garden tools. Uh, we're going to start with the shovel and I always start by soaking the, the tool in a little bit of water and then I bring it up and I use a Brillo pad on it. And it cleans most of the dirt and rust off. And if you do that, and it's not much on there, it will come clean for you. I'm going to do the other side a little different way. If it is a lot of dirt and debris on it, you can always use a wire brush. And that helps get the, get the heavy stuff off. Ideally, this should be done every time you use it, but as you know, we don't all get a chance. So please do it in the fall to prevent your tools from rusting. Now after you get the heavy debris off, you can put it back in the water for a minute. Now use the Brillo pad on this side, and I'm just going to do the front here. and it will take most of the rust off. And then we'll wipe it clean. See there's a little more on there, so we'll hit it again. A wire brush. Brillo pad. And that should take it down to where we are ready to just about sharpen here. Now I like to use a file, just a six inch sharpening file. There are other tools out there like this garden sharp and some other sharpening tools that work but the angle is kind of hard to keep on them but they are handy. I like to use a file and you just go at it at a 45 degree angle nice quick You may see some nicks on and you can go back over and hit the nicks again, but make sure you do it on the beveled edge, which is usually the front of the shovel, not the back. Now, after you've got it sufficiently sharp, or the way you want it, the final touch for the metal part, I usually put a little vegetable oil on a cloth and wipe over to help prevent rust. And there you have it. Now for the handle, a lot of times we leave them out and the handle gets kind of rough and you can feel along the handle to see if you have any slivers or splinters. Then if you do, you just take a piece of sandpaper, sand it down naturally until you don't feel any splinters. And then use some linseed oil to preserve the wood. gives it a nice finished look.
Okay, there you have the shovel. Next, we're going to do some bypass pruners. And what we'll do first is dip them in a little water and then we'll do the wire brush on them also. It allows you to get down in the crevices in there and get any rust that may have accumulated down in the workings down in there to get it out. And we do both sides. There are several spray rust uh, inhibitors or rust removers that you can also use. I heard scrubbing bubbles is pretty good for this too. So if you do use scrubbing bubbles or something like that, use it before you use the wire brush and before you use the Brillo pad. I'm going to use the Brillo pad now. Clean them up. Actually, I think I'm going to take these apart. With my pliers. Nut, and we'll slip them apart here, and it makes it a little easier to clean them. Just brillo pad them down. Dip them in the water, give them a quick rinse, and we'll dry them off. Now, to sharpen these, we do the same thing. I'll use a file this time. But you'll go along the edge, the beveled edge of the pruner. Make sure you go out from the edge at a 45 degree angle the same way we did with the shovel. Generally it doesn't take too many times of going by with the file for the bypass pruners. Then you check the other side to make sure there's no nicks or anything on that side and you can flat file that side if there are. And there you have your bypass pruners clean. Now you want to do exactly the same thing. Well this time instead of vegetable oil we're going to use a couple of drops of uh, three-in-one oil on the mechanisms to keep it moving smooth. And we'll slip these back together. And we're just going to sit those to the side. Now, we have some snips. And a lot of people like these snips because they're handy and good for cutting flowers and things. And you, you sharpen them and clean them the exact same way. These are brand new, so I'm not going to clean them or sharpen them. But that is the exact same way we do with the bypass pruners. Just a couple drops of oil and we're all done. This is the way I clean my tools. This is just one way. There are several other ways, but I found this is a great way to clean your tools. Thank you.